hello everyone this is our lecture number five and uh, today's topic is integrating factor rule number three so before starting rule number three uh, tell me do you remember what is homogeneous function let me tell you suppose I have a function f of x comma y okay i have a function f of x comma y now this function will be called homogeneous function homogeneous function if it satisfies this condition that f of dx comma ty this is equals to t to the power n f of x comma y okay that means you have to replace x by tx and y by t1 then you have to take common t and you will get this form that t to the power n f of x comma uh, f of x comma y then the function f of x y will be called homogeneous function and the number n this is called degree of the degree of homogeneous function homogeneous function you already have learned this topic in your first semester now here in rule number three we have to use this concept of homogeneous function so let's learn what is rule number three suppose we have uh, an equation m dx plus n dy this is equals to zero so obviously uh, this is non-exact equation because we are going to find out the integrating factor so this is non-exact equation so now rule number three is you have to find out the integrating factor so rule number three is here m if m and n both are homogeneous function okay here m and n both are homogeneous function and not only homogeneous their degree will be same with same degree Suppose m is homogeneous and degree is 3 and n is homogeneous, degree is 2. In that case, you cannot apply rule number 3. Okay, so degree must be same and also that will be homogeneous function. Then this is the first step. Second step is if these two conditions hold, then you have to find out mx plus ny. mx plus ny that means you have to multiply x with m and y with n then addition and that will be non-zero okay these two conditions i am repeating you have an equation m dx plus n dy equals to zero first condition is m and n both will be homogeneous function with same degree okay and second condition is mx plus n y that will be not equals to zero clear then then one by mx plus n y is integrating factor <laughs> clear so let's understand using an example question solve x square y minus 2x y square dx minus x cube minus 3x square y dy this is equals to zero here in this case what is m m is equals to x square y minus 2x y square and what is n n is equals to minus x cube minus 3x x square y so first check this is homogeneous or not so m tx comma ty this is equals to so this will be t square x square into ty minus 2 into tx into t square y square just you have to replace x by tx and y by ty so t cube is common so t cube into x square y minus 2x y square that means you are getting t to the power n m x comma y clear this x square y minus 2x x y square this is nothing but this is our m that means we are getting the relation m tx comma ty this is equals to t cube m of 
x comma y so obviously this is homogeneous function and degree is 3 so m is homogeneous and degree is 3 now let's check n so n tx comma ty this is equals to minus t cube x cube minus 3 t square x square into ty so this is equals to t cube is common so t cube into minus x cube minus 3x square y and minus x cube minus 3x square y this is nothing but this is our n so you are getting t cube into n x y that means again it is satisfying the condition so n is homogeneous and degree is 3 so here both m and n both are homogeneous with same degree so obviously we can apply rule number 3 so according to rule number 3 next we ha you have to find out mx plus ny this is equals to mx means you have to multiply x with m so x square y minus 2xy square into x minus x cube minus 3x square y into y so this is equals to x cube y minus 2x square y square minus x cube y minus minus plus 3x square y square x cube y cancelled you are getting the result x square y square and obviously this result is non-zero now question is why this result is non-zero actually if x is equals to 0 or if y is equals to 0 then uh, this result will be 0 now but why I am uh, telling you that this result is non-zero actually if x is equals to 0 then dx equals to 0 if y is equals to 0 then dy equals to 0 now tell me if dx equals to 0 then in this equation this will be differential equation no because according to the definition of differential equation there must be the derivative of the dependent variable now if dx equals to 0 then derivative does not exist that means in this type of differential equation x not equals to 0 y not equals to 0 clear that's why here mx plus ny this is non-zero so what is our integrating factor according to rule number 3 this is equals to 1 by mx plus ny so this is equals to 1 by x square y square clear now what is the role of integrating factor role is you have to multiply the integrating factor with the differential equation and the equation will be converted to exact equation okay then you have to find out the solution so next multiplying you have to multiply the integrating factor with given differential equation so x square y minus 2 x y square divided by x square y square dx minus x cube minus 3 x square y divided by x square y square dy this is equals to 0 next step next step is just just you have to divide it so or x square is cancelled so 1 by y minus 2 by x dx minus x by y square minus 3 by y dy this is equals to 0 is it correct clear so so now this equation after multiplying the equ uh, integrating factor the equation must be exact equation so obviously we can use the formula of solution of exact equation so the solution is solution is what is the formula integration m dx plus integration terms of n free from x dy equals to c so or integration what is m 1 by y 
माइनस टू बाई एक्स डी एक्स प्लस इंटीग्रेशन टर्म्स ऑफ एन फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स नाउ हेयर द फर्स्ट टर्म इज एक्स बाई वाई स्क्वायर इज दिस फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स ऑब्वियसली नॉट सो वी हैव टू राइट ओनली माइनस थ्री बाई वाई ओके दिस इज फ्री फ्रॉम एक्स एंड हेयर वी हैव अनदर माइनस सो माइनस माइनस प्लस सो प्लस थ्री बाई वाई डी वाई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू सी ओके नाउ इंटीग्रेशन इन फर्स्ट पार्ट दिस इज वन बाई वाई डी एक्स हेयर इंटीग्रेशन इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो दिस इंटीग्रेशन विल नॉट लॉग वाई दिस विल बी इंटीग्रेशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो द इंटीग्रेशन विल बी एक्स बाई वाई ओके माइनस टू लॉग एक्स प्लस थ्री लॉग वाई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू सी एंड दिस इज योर रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड सोल्यूशन ओके देर आर सम प्रॉब्लम्स हेयर वी कैन यूज रूल नंबर वन और रूल नंबर टू एंड ऑल्सो रूल नंबर थ्री ओके सो लेट सॉल्व एन अदर प्रॉब्लम हेयर वी ऑलरेडी हैव सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन आवर फर्स्ट इन आवर रूल नंबर वन वीडियो ओके एंड आई एम सॉल्विंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग रूल नंबर थ्री ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सॉल्व सॉल्व एक्स टू दि पार फोर प्लस वाई टू दि पार फोर डी एक्स माइनस एक्स वाई क्यूब डी वाई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो यू कैन रिमेम्बर दैट आई आई ऑलरेडी हैव सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन रूल नंबर वन वीडियो ओके यूजिंग द रूल नंबर वन नाउ आई एम सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग रूल नंबर थ्री सॉल्यूशन हेयर एम इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू दि पावर फोर प्लस वाई टू दि पावर फोर एन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस एक्स वाई क्यूब सो एम टी एक्स कमा टी वाई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू टी टू दि पावर फोर इज कॉमन यू उल गेट एक्स टू दि पावर फोर प्लस वाई टू दि पावर फोर दैट मीन्स टी टू दि पावर फोर इन टू एम एक्स वाई ओके सिमिलारलि एन टी एक्स कमा टी वाई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू इफ यू पुट एक्स इक्वल्स टू टी एक्स एंड वाई इक्वल्स टू टी वाई सो टी टू दि पावर फोर उल बी कमन एंड यू उल गेट माइनस एक्स वाई क्यूब दैट मीन्स टी टू दि पावर फोर इन टू एन एक्स कमा वाई ओके सो अबियसली हेयर एम एंड एन एम एन बोथ होमोजिनियस विथ डिग्री फोर ओके सो नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एम एक्स प्लस एन वाई एंड दिस इज इक्वल्स टू एम एक्स मीन्स एक्स टू दि पावर फोर प्लस वाई टू दि पावर फोर इन टू एक्स ओके प्लस एन मीन्स एन इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस एक्स वाई क्यूब ओके इन टू वाई सो दिस इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स टू दि पावर फाइव प्लस एक्स वाई टू दि पावर फोर माइनस एक्स वाई टू दि पावर फोर so this cancel you are getting x to the power 5 so what is integrating factor this is equals to 1 by x to the power 5 this is your integrating factor and obviously this is not equals to 0 so integrating factor is 1 by x to the power 5 so next step is you have to multiply this integrating factor with the given equation so multiplying multiplying so x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 divided by x to the power 5 dx minus x y cube divided by x to the power 5 dy this is equals to 0 or 1 by x plus y to the power 4 by x to the power 5 dx minus y cube by x to the power 4 dy equals to zero. Okay, so the solution is solution is integration m dx. That means one by x plus y to the power four by x to the power five dx plus 
terms of n free from x but this n is not free from x so you have to write 0 dy this is equals to c or the integration of 1 by x this is log x minus x to the power uh, 5 that means x to the power minus 5 so this will be x to the power n plus 1 formula na? so this will be minus 4 uh, minus 5 plus 1 okay that means x to the power 4 okay so this will be y to the power 4 divided by 4 into x to the power 4 this is equals to c and this is your which is the required solution okay so in uh, this is very simple and uh, i think rule number three is the easiest rule for integrating factor okay if you have any problem where you are you can apply rule number one and rule number three together then rule number three will be preferable okay because it is very easy so thank you so much now try to solve some problems from your textbook and if you have any problem then send me in my whatsapp group thank you